Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on the hidden secret number 21 of why you can still have back pain. In this video, the hidden secret number one is due to a condition called retrolithesis. The spine is composed of a series of bones called vertebrae. There are 24 vertebrae that are stacked on top of each other like uh, a stack of, of wooden blocks. In between the vertebrae are the discs and the discs separate the bones, keeping them from rubbing into each other. The bones have to be in the correct alignment for, in order to have the correct amount of loading on all your joints and your discs. If you have a bone that's out of alignment, what it does is it causes additional stress and strain to be placed on the joints and the discs in the spine. It also causes pain because it can press up against the spinal nerves that exit the spine. With retrolithesis, what that means is that one of the bones has slipped backwards compared to the other bones. And there are a couple of reasons why this occurs. There's congenital reasons, in other words, that the, the, the person is born that way. There's developmental reasons due to development as you're growing up. Or there could be due to trauma or repetitive microtrauma, such as playing sports. Regardless of the reason, retrolithesis can cause back pain. And then the, 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 the thing you have to figure out at that point is what do you do about it? The traditional medical management of treating this type of problem is to give you medicine in the form of pain medicine or anti-inflammatories and have you just deal with it. In my opinion, that is not a very specific way of, of treating this problem. And there are different types of natural and more conservative approaches that you can do to help people that suffer with back pain due to retrolithesis. In my office, what we do is to first try to improve the function of the muscles and the joints by improving motion through the use of chiropractic adjustments and stretches. Following that, my approach is to try to improve the alignment of the spine by improving the posture as well as improving the balance of the pelvis. And once we've accomplished that, then we want to prescribe specific exercises that are designed to stabilize and then strengthen the spine so that the adjustments hold and your spine is, is stronger, it's more stable, it's moving correctly, it's aligned correctly, and you're, you get rid of your back pain. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about retrolithesis or back pain, please feel free to communicate with me through my website at redapplewellness.net. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell a friend. And again, thank you very much for checking out this video.